hello everyone how are you hope everybody is in good health so after a very long time again to do one unboxing video and from the title below as you can see the perfume i'm going to unbox versace men why i got this fragrance this is a blind buy for me i never smelled it before but as this got discontinued so i thought like now it's the time to grab it because you can get good deals now online and I think like after a few months or so you cannot actually get this, you know, here and there. So the price is going to go up. Look at the box. Holographic rainbow kind of thing. And for that reason, I cannot even uh, check the batch code because the batch code that it is here, I cannot actually read it because of this holographic thing. So let's not talk further. Let's open it up. Ta-da. Happy moon for all perfume people, all perfume collector when you open the perfume. Okay, going to the trash. Sale of and gone. Okay, look at the box. Here you can see Versace Man. And here's some information like all the toilet, natural spray, 100 ml. Here at the back you have some information. And at the back, at the bottom actually here the batch code and some other information on the sides you have nothing so let's open this up okay look at the bottle a nice one actually this one looks like uh versace uh man of rice i don't own that uh, I don't know why I actually didn't got that, most probably because uh, I do have a lot of freshies, but people do say like that has some different note, uh, star fruit note, and I actually haven't tried it and I didn't even bought it. So I don't know, in future I might, but that looks so good. This one is so very, very, I would say like unique kind of bottle. Look at the design. This is glass and this is plastic. Versace written in is plastic or metal? I don't know. It might be metal or plastic. And here at the back, you can see the information and the serial number. And that's it. Let's open it up. Okay, nice. You can pick it up from the cap. And let's spray this guy. Nice spray, not bad. Hmm. Okay. That's something different. That's what I didn't actually expect. That is really, really different. Hmm. The opening that I'm getting, it seems like it will be a powerhouse, but I don't know like how much it's gonna last on my skin. I'm getting some fougere kind of note. We'll say like this perfume maybe that barbershop kind of I'm getting um, that powdery barbershop kind of feel and I don't know like uh, most of it that's uh, pepper maybe a bit of pepper like it is hitting from the back hmm this one will be challenging for many people and i will say this is this will be uh, love or hate for me uh, initial impression uh, the kind of fragrance that i love uh, i'll say this is this will be like so so 50 50. Uh, i might like it someday someday i might not like it Like I'm not actually saying it is bad and I'm not saying it is so good either. Let me spray one more time. You know, the thing is, um, I don't get that much of uh, uh, what do you say like artificial kind of thing like no chemical kind of opening straight away it goes to that powdery thing 
and as I do not know the notes and I'm not good at notes so that's why like I was saying like it's powdery but I'm not getting any woody yet and I'll say like there might be saffron in it I don't know there is that uh, a bit bitterness saffron bitterness in this fragrance I also it's a bit mature so uh, but definitely not versatile at all uh, and not for summer summer wearings uh, you have to actually wear this this kind of uh, the season that we're having nowadays the winter and fall and definitely a night time it would be a good one and I would suggest for the people like who are 25 plus maybe like uh, I'd I'll go a bit more than that, 27 and up. And it's gonna be, you know, a bit, it will be a bit hard to pull off. And you have to be very confident to pull this one. But I think like during uh, winter, you can actually wear this in your office maybe but not so many spray like you know just go a bit less on the sprayer three maximum four spray I think that's gonna be enough okay so I'm still getting that powdery thing I don't know like how it will change later on but for me uh, I think like if you if somebody wants to own it uh, definitely try this before you purchase and I am not so unhappy because like I have got something that is going to be uh, that is already discontinued and uh, you know very soon like I think like price gonna go really really high and for me it's a source of fragrance I might like it someday someday I might not it depends on my mood and it's a bit powdery a bit bubble shop and definitely not versatile so people uh, who likes uh, barber shop kind of fragrance uh, for those you can actually go for this other than that like people who do love freshies I think this might not be a fragrance for them a bit challenging one so for today I'm signing off hope to come up with some other review very soon Ta -da.